Hello everyone, in this video we'll be exploring DBT Docs. Uh, so as you remember that in last video we were, uh, we set up the DBT tests for our models and uh, we had all the tests specified in schema.yml. And uh, uh, for DBT doc, Docs, we'll be going to utilize the same schema.yml file and uh, we'll be adding a couple of uh, tags over here to uh, specify the description. So if we look at the documentation example over here, uh, you can see that uh, it ha we have added over here uh, the description for each of the model itself. So for example, looking at the customer's model, we have this description, one record per customer. And then at the each column level, we have also added description tag here as well uh, for the customer's ID, uh, attribute and the name uh, and the first order date name as well. So that's the same uh, procedure that we are following for all other models and their columns as well. So for the example, I'm going to copy this code and going to paste in our schema.yml, replacing the existing one, going to save the file, control S. And now what we have to do is to execute the dbt docs generate command in the terminal so that will actually build the docs so let's do that dbt docs generate and enter so this is going to take a few seconds all right so dbt docs succeeded at and now we have to view the documents documentation so for that you can see on the left side right next to the uh, our branch name over here so we have this book icon and if i hover over it says view docs so when i click on the view docs icon it will take me to another page where the dbt uh, docs are hosted so now we have this interface where we can see that we have an overview of the project selected over here and uh, and that's giving us a little bit of description about like each of the tabs and you can see that we have two main tabs over here the first is project the second is database and if i go to the project tab my project folder is listed here and then models folder is listed here and then each individual model we have the details of the models over here um, uh, some metadata about it and then we have the description of the uh, model itself over here uh, as we uh, added in our schema.yml one record per customer. So that's listed here. And it's also showing us the columns and the relevant data type and uh, if they have any, some, uh, any tests on that specific model. And also you can see that we have uh, some information about where this model is referenced so it's referenced a couple of tests that we created uh, in last session and also it's listing out the dependencies uh, on uh, of the models that are being used to produce this model and also um, at last it's showing us the source code uh, as well and that's very handy to have all this information, especially when you have very uh, diverse uh, modeling uh, around your data product. And also we have the databases over here. It's kind of showing us which database it's coming from. So you can see over here that it's listing that it's coming from the analytics, uh, uh, DBT, M. Hassan Kayum. So it's just listing the um, databases from uh, the database from our Snowflake uh, account. And yeah, that's pretty much the basic about DBT Talks. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any queries. Um, I'll, I'll make a video about that as well. Thank you so much. So I'll see you in the next one.